Hi there, Benjamin Durham here again, this time with a dose of recent canoe and photo activity from Killarney Provincial Park. Of course, because of its beauty, I went ahead and brought along all my photo and video equipment, which is kind of really, 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 really nerve wracking. Now, the hardest parts about shooting in remote locations like this are technical difficulties. Like I'll mention in one of the upcoming vlogs, Magic Lantern killed most of my cards and almost the camera itself power constraints. Only having a few batteries, there's only so many mistakes you can make before you run out of power. Along with many other problems that, when amplified by seclusion, makes things 10 times harder to deal with. Though, because of all of these challenges, it made the trip memorable. And isn't that what camping is all about? All right, so without further ado, here are the Killarney Vlogs. See you later, have fun you guys. Bye, I love you, uh... bye. I'm on a canoe trip in Killarney Provincial Park, five hours north of Toronto. It's a canoe trip for five days, and there are three canoes. In the first canoe, there's my dad and I. Ugh. My dad. And I. And then there's Scott and Max, my uncle and cousin. And the third canoe Hello. are Jamie and John, my sister and brother-in-law. That is a portage sign. And that's John prepping for land travel. This is a typical portage trail. Sometimes we carry the canoes on our heads, other times we carry it between two people. These are lightweight canoes that get really heavy after carrying them for over 500 meters. Look, it's like a carrot on a stick, except it's the first aid kit. <laughs> We're just finishing up the portage. The main thing to consider when getting into canoes, don't capsize them. And yes, those are pink knee pads. Scott's steering in the back right now just to get to the campsite, but Max learns how to operate canoes later on. We got a windsock here. No, just, it's really windy, but it's also really hot. So I'm gonna jump in. Oh, oh cliff. Okay. Now it's nice and refreshing. As you might have noticed, it was really windy on our way there. For most of the journey to our first campsite, we had to paddle upwind. Not fun, but kind of exciting. I guess. Meh.